So, just have a look at this board that I've uh, took out. Quite a simple little board, really. So, looks like this is your main side coming in. to seems to be taking its power from the secondary side here this so that's probably the transformer relay so your pot usually connects to your base of your transistor but I don't know for sure I ain't checked the wiring out on it but they're really easy to test I'll just go through them individually check the views check the inductors make sure they're still intact and con Continuous, check the continuity of the resistors. You can check the numbers and make sure they're still right. Obviously, that's a big resistor there. So, just check the band, colour bands, and then check the measurement against it. There's a small little transistor here, I don't know what that does, but that could be linked to your potentiometer. There's then a diode there, but you just do a diode test on them. Another diode here. They're really easy to test these boards up. Just go through each individual component, test the capacitors, test the diodes, the resistors, test the potentiometer for no dropouts in the signal all the way through. And then resistors and diodes, one there, Zener diode there. Transistors just test between each leg. So, not a lot to them boards. I'm going to go through this properly now and just work out how the circuits work. Because normally that connects direct, to, well, the ones I've worked on before, that connects to the potentiometer, but it ain't on this one. Well, at least I couldn't get a reading. So, it could go through this little transistor there. That's an SCR, and that's a transistor. So I'll do a bit more research on this, but there's not a lot on there really to worry about. Relays go, capacitors sometimes go, that goes a lot. That's probably the main repair I've done on these, and the potentiometers wear. So that's it.